Hi, it's me, Streaky, and uh, hello again. So today I'm going to talk to you about a little trick that I've been doing. I've had a client who asked me if uh, they can, I can get an instrumental from a full track, basically, that they wanted. And I kind of said yes without even knowing how to do it, as you do. And fortunately, I've been playing around with the new version of RX-8, from Isotope, which is my kind of go-to always for de-clicking, de-noising, de-humming, de-reverbing, de-everythinging. And in there, I was able to strip the vocal away and get the instrumental. So as I was playing with it, to try and rip the vocal away from the track, like with some EQ and different stuff, but I found some sort of toys in RX that do it. I also was able to do the reverse of it too, which kind of got me quite excited and especially got my assistant excited because what it did, it isolated the vocal. So you lost all the backing tracks. So if you wanted to rip a vocal out of an old tune and make a new remix of it, uh, this is something you can do. So without me boring you to death and just rattling on, now's the best time for you to hit the like button below. If you like my videos, if you like this kind of thing, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it helps me out. It makes me want to do more videos and it also helps other people like you get my videos and my tips and tricks. So yeah, hit the like button now. So let's get stuck in to the screen. I'll put my headphones on and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Okay, so here we are in RX. Uh, we've got Matt's track loaded up, which is uh, this one. You might know it from before. So let's see if we can get the instrumental of this sort of section here. So we will go over here to music rebalance on the menu. The menu's got a lot of stuff going on. And in here we have four sections, vocal, bass, percussion, and other. It's quality, so we'll put that to best. And then you can have the separation, how much separation you want. So let's put that to 100%. We want to get rid of the vocal, so whip the vocal down. Um, you can kind of solo there as well. And, uh, and then what we'll do, we'll just render that section. Talk amongst yourselves, it'll take uh, 30 seconds. Uh, four seconds remaining, so uh, two, one. Are we ready? Yes, here we go. Okay, now let's have a listen to see what that little section's done. Let's give it a play. Now you must admit, you can hear tiny touches of vocal, but that is pretty impressive. Um, if you were to do that across the whole track, and then if you, it was really bothering you, you could edit around those little sections. Let's listen, listen again. So I did that on a track and it came out really well and the client was really happy. But something as I was then playing around with it, let's go back to the initial state. So I thought to myself, okay, well, what if I wanted to get an old tune from the 70s or something and I want to rip the vocal out so that I could do a remix behind, as so many people have done in the past. Let's do the reverse of what we just had. So let's solo that one. So we just want the vocal out of uh, that section. So remind ourselves. So let's just grab that. Uh, same again, best render, uh, talk amongst yourselves while that happens. So depending on how long your computer is, how, you know, how, how fast your CPU is, depends on how quick this is going to render. So as we can see, that has literally stripped it to bits. So let's have a listen to how that vocals come out. Spin back a bit more. Can't you sleep at night? Tell me lies. I just want to do or die. Is it me or is it you? Is it you? Okay, so I can hear a little bit of kind of reverb and stuff in the background, but you can, it's quite amazing you can say I haven't tried. that it's taken the whole track out. So let's go a bit deeper with this. Let's just learn here. So this is the D reverb we've got up. So we can just press learn and that will set all these reverb profiles up. But as I say, you could play around with this quite a lot. And uh, let's just render that. That was quick. Now listen again. Yeah, so that's nice. So a lot of that sort of tight reverb tails there that it's actually left on, you could actually just trim those within your door. And then you could place your own reverbs over the top and you could also then re-EQ that. And I think things would really start happening. 
Let's do a little D wind on it. Let's see if it gets rid of a little bit more of that. So uh, let's just let me just do the settings that it says there. Let's get a bit more reduction on. Let's just render it with whatever the standard settings are. See what happens. Then play around with it afterwards if we like it. So you can hear that's literally sorted it out completely. So what we could do now is we could put a bit of EQ on if we really fancied. Uh, I don't know, let's say around there, let's, we could preview this. So we've then got a vocal. Let's render that. I mean, that EQ is the most random EQ I've ever seen in my life, but uh, we're not doing this for, you know, you can really go in tight on this, obviously, when you're on your own doing it. So, um, yeah, let's just have a listen. Do I die? Is it me or is it you? Is it you? So I'll then cut it halfway through so you can hear exactly. So that's amazing, isn't it? Once you've played around with that and you've got a backing track behind it, you won't even hear all, any of those noises. It will sound great. Let's um, drop it in and out and you can hear. I mean, that's just incredible. So I hope you can get something out of that. I hope that helps you if you want to do some remixes with some other tunes. Uh, I think you'll find, oh, let's just take these off. So I think uh, that is pretty incredible, isn't it? What we've got there, um, RX-8 uh, in full mode. I mean, there's so much you can do with it. You can do EQ matching level stuff. Maybe I'll do some more videos on it. If you've liked this one, click the like button. Let me know in the comments uh, if you want me to do any other stuff like this and any other RX things, just to show you um, some little tips and tricks on what to do. I think you'll find that if you do need to get an instrumental, once you start playing around with the settings, maybe edit around stuff and do things, you'll be able to get an instrumental from a full mix and also do the reverse then, what I've just shown you, which is epic for, for getting a vocal off of something and then being able to use it for remixes and um, you know if you're stuck and you haven't got the vocal still or maybe a vocal performance was brilliant on one take but you haven't got it on another so um, yeah enjoy that rx8 uh, my name's streaky don't forget to subscribe see you on the next video cheers bye